So keeping up a home, what does that mean exactly? To find out what is included in the cost of keeping up a home, you can see publication 501. So that's on the IRS website. Usually it's fairly, you know, fairly straightforward when you're thinking about keeping up a home, but you're thinking, you know, the cost of keeping up a home and so on and so forth. But uh, you can imagine a gray area in terms of the definition there. So if you want to dive in to a bit more of the weeds on the definition of keeping up a home, publication 501 IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Married person who live apart. So now you've got the, we've thought, we saw when we're looking at the different definitions and we broke out into our somewhat rigid categories of either the options if you're single versus the options if you're married. But if we have a married couple that is separated in some way, then the, the gray area that comes up is, well, are they legally separated? Can they now be going from the only options when married, which is married filing joint or married filing separate to the options that are usually only available if single, which would be filing single head or head of household. So even if you weren't divorced or legally separated at the end of 2022, you are considered unmarried if all of the following apply. So you lived apart from your spouse for the last six months of 2022. Temporary absence for special circumstances such as for business, medical care, school, or military service count as time lived in the home. So you file a separate return from your spouse. You paid over half the cost of keeping up your home for 2022. Your home was the main home of your child, stepchild, or foster child for more than half of 2022. If half or less, you can see exception to time lived with you earlier. You can claim this child as uh, your dependent or could claim the child. Child except that the child's other parent can claim the child under the rule for children of divorced or separate parents under who qualifies as your dependent later. So we got some caveats there, this, this general kind of caveats being oftentimes with these custody issues uh, with a child in a separation situation who's, you know, and then we can, we'll possibly dive into more rules on that kind of gray area in a future presentation.